Good evening friends and happy Vlogmas day 11. It is Wednesday the 11th of December and it is officially two weeks till Christmas. Can you believe it? Not next Wednesday but the Wednesday after it will be Christmas day. Yay! It's just all gone so quick. I can't believe it. Like not only just the month but also the whole year. Like the whole year is almost finished. It's crazy. It's crazy. So it's a little later on in the evening. I had another work day today where I finished at 7. So I've had dinner and now it's time to get vlogging, get the video started for today. I'm just finishing off my beautiful cup of tea. This is my favourite tea ever, Yorkshire Biscuit Brew. It's the best thing ever. And I'm loving this mug at the moment. This is my Christmas mug. I remembered that I had all tucked away in our Christmas decorations and I love it. It's just got cute little gingerbreads on it and I think I got this from ASOS last year. Yeah, but it's a good size for, for tea drinking. Mm. So this evening I thought we would do a little bit of some late night crafts. Why not? We haven't done any crafts yet. So I was thinking of doing something with these little wooden Christmas trees that I got from Spotlight the other day. So I think what I'm going to do, I don't know if it's going to work, we're just going to just try it and see what happens. I don't know. What I want to do is I want to cover the trees. Oh, I've just gone really bright. I just want to cover the trees in some fabric. So I dug this out of my stash of Christmas fabrics and it's just a bundle of these tartan Christmas fabrics. So I thought I would make some lovely standing tartan Christmas trees. I don't know. I'm going to just glue them on using some Mod Podge and a brush and see if they work. i got no idea if they will. Happy days if they do and oh well if they don't, you know? So I'm just gonna wing it and see see what happens. Okay, that's the best way to do it. But first, I'm gonna finish my tea. I thought I'd also just say that I am in my pajamas <laughs> uh, because I was uh, like I just like just get comfortable so I'm in my pajamas but I still do have my lovely Mickey Mouse earrings on. I wore them again today because I love them so much. I just think they're the coolest thing. So I think the way I'm going to tackle it is I'm going to trace the tree shape onto the fabric. Cut the fabric out and then glue it onto the tree and I hope it, it works. I don't know whether to, I think I will, I think I'll I think I'll leave the stands just the normal wood and just cover the trees. I think that'll work the best, I think. So, let's get cracking. So I've chosen my three fabrics. I think they should be alright. And I think, like, the check is uh, quite close together, so you won't sort of lose the print on the tree because they are quite tiny. I'm going to press these first because they are quite creased because once they're nice and pressed they'll be a lot easier to work with. So I've just traced around the trees, just using a sharpie pen, a fine tip one, like that. I did at first do it in lead pencil, but I couldn't quite see the lines, so I tried it in sharpie and it worked. Happy days. So now I'm just going to carefully cut around each piece, possibly cut just inside the line so that it will actually fit the size of the tree because it is now slightly bigger than the actual tree because I've gone around the outside edge so that's what I'm going to do and we'll see if this works yay success it was a little bit fiddly to go around all of those edges uh, but it worked yay it fits 
just kind of a thing like that. And I think I cut the other one out better, but yay, happy days. Okay, we're going to crack out the glue. I am just using good old Mod Podge and we'll just uh, glue it all on. So there's my first little tree done. Isn't she gorgeous? So I've just done a really light layer of glue to stick the fabric on and it worked well. Once it's dry, I'm just going to just snip around the edges to stick, get off any extra overhang of the fabric just to neaten it up a little bit. And then I was thinking of maybe just going around the edges with a gold sharpie just because there's like metallic golds in there and it might just sort of finish it off a little bit better. And hopefully, I'm thinking once this is dry, it'll still be able to go in it's just not quite going in at the moment because the fabric is in the way. So we'll see once it's dry whether it'll work, hopefully. But now I'm just going to do exactly the same thing with the other two fabrics. And then hopefully this one will be dry enough to do some colouring and finish it. I didn't know whether to add maybe even like some ribbon and it'd be a really nice sort of um, decoration for the tree. But... Uh, I don't know. trees for the next little tree. I actually really quite like this fabric and what I've done first with this one before putting the trees on here is I've just done the edges of the tree with my metallic gold sharpie and I'm now on a bit of a sharpie high <laughs> to be honest but I've done all of the edges with the gold around here and I've also did it on the little stumpy bit as well. You can't tell it's not going to focus so I think that should be alright. It's just going to finish it off quite nicely, I think. Uh, yeah. um, I'll show you at the end. So we'll glue them on, just like I did last time. And then we'll move on to the last one. All my three trees are done. I'm actually just waiting for this last one to dry. But I managed to put the little bottoms on and they look so cute. So I've actually decided to go one more step. I'm actually going to turn these into decorations that go on the tree. So I rummaged through one of my button bottles and found some um, three little white buttons. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, dig out my glue gun and I'm going to pop a little button on top so it kind of looks like like a star type thing and then we'll also put some of this gold ribbon on the top so that it kind of looks a bit like that so then you got the shimmery gold loop the shimmery gold metallic in the fabric and then the edges are gold as well so I think that will sort of tie it off quite nice and they look really sweet while my last one is drying we'll grab the the hot water, the hot water glue gun. What? I'll get the glue gun out and we'll glue these together and see what they look like. And there are my three little trees done. I am so happy with them. They worked out so well. I'm really glad I put this on the top to hang on the tree because now they have like a purpose. So these trees are dedicated to my lovely Scottish viewers. Hello to you. I have some lovely tartan Christmas trees to go on my tree in remembrance of my time in Scotland this year. Woohoo! So I hope you enjoyed watching my little late night crafting session and I hope it's kind of given you a little bit of inspiration to do some really quick little craft things yourself. So of course before we go we need to do the advent calendar. I don't purposely leave this to the end of the vlog. It just sort of gets 
to the end of the day I'm like I need to do the advent calendar. I might try and mix it up a bit tomorrow and try and do the advent calendar first. That's if I remember of course. <laughs> so let's open day 11. I wonder what it could be. Oh, it's a tiny little door, so it's gonna be so easy. Eedy, eedy, bitty. All right, so we got door 11 here. Let's see what's in it. What can it be? Dress makers pins. Oh, now I can't get them out. Oh my gosh, they are in there so tight. I don't know whether I'm gonna be able to get them out. Okay, so it's just a pack of of dressmakers pins just little berry pins with some colored little heads it's not gonna focus you know what pins look like so that was day 11 shall we go and put our gorgeous little trees on the tree yes yes i think we will do that let's do it let's put these on the tree this is our tree at night it looks wonderful even though it's blurry whoopsies i've just dropped two of them and they haven't broken, so that's all right. So this one can go up here because this one is actually my favorite. And I've just put it up there next to Harry amongst the tinsel. He looks very good there. This next one can go down here near Barbara the Koala. Very good. And then this last one can just nestle in here, right there near my Liberty bauble. Oh, they look good there. Oh, look, they sparkle with that. Yay. Goes with my gold theme. I like it. So I'm going to end the vlog here with the Christmas tree in the background again. Why not? Thank you all so much for watching this late night crafts video with me. And like I said, I do hope I've inspired you somehow with something. Tomorrow I have planned another craft. This is the one that I I'm very excited to do because I've done it once and it worked out really well and I think you're all going to really love it. And it involves sewing. Yeah, that's what I'm going to tell you. <laughs> so until tomorrow, thank you all so much for watching today, Vlogmas Day 11, and I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 12. Good night. Good night. <laughs>